Today on CVTV, we're going over the installation and setup of the Camor F4 Pro Wi-Fi cloud dosing pump. Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and I will be your host for today. The new Camor F4 Pro liquid dosing pump is the latest state-of-the-art controllable dosing system from Camor. Each unit includes Wi-Fi and cloud connection, which allows the doser to be controlled locally or remotely via most mobile devices. Alkalinity and calcium are consumed by our tank inhabitants 24-7 and needs to be replenished on a daily basis. Some hobbyists take care of this manually by adding alkalinity and calcium solutions once a day, while other hobbyists rather automate the process by using dosing pumps. The F4 Pro is a reliable, safe and versatile solution that facilitates the addition of supplements into our systems. Not only does it allow you to dose alkalinity and calcium, but we can also add supplements such as trace elements, magnesium, liquid carbon, and the list goes on and on. Before we get started with the installation, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include the F4 Pro dosing unit, power adapter, graduated cylinder, tube bracket, BTP colored tubing, and hardware. Now that we have accounted for all the parts, we can continue with the installation. Let's find a location that is optimal for mounting the F4 Pro. The location should be easy access. It should be close to electrical power, close to sump or location where the dosing tubing will be installed, and also easy access to the dosing containers that will hold the solution. The unit should also be installed higher than the sump, but not directly above water. Once we have found the perfect location, the unit can be mounted using the included hardware. Installing the tubing is as simple as it gets. Unscrew the tightening cap from the dosing head. Remove the bushing. Now insert the tubing into the small end of the tightening cap and then insert the tightening bushing, wider end first. Attach the tubing to the right side input of the dosing heads and then reattach the tightening cap to secure. Repeat the process on the left side output of the dosing head and then on each of the dosing heads you will be activating. Before we proceed, let's download and install the Camor Remote app from the Google Play or Apple App Store. We will need this app to remotely control our F4 Pro dosing unit. Once the Camor app has been downloaded and installed, Go ahead and open it. The first step is to set up a cloud account. Tap on free registration and select the type of account you want to register. For the purposes of this video, we'll select email registration. Tap on sign up with your email. Now enter your email address and then tap on send next to the verification code. Check your email and enter the code that was sent to you. Now enter your password and tap on register. Once your account has been successfully created, you will be routed to the device's screen. To add your device, just tap on the plus sign on the upper right hand corner and select Add Device. Now select Camor F4 Pro. Make sure that your mobile device is connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. If you try connecting to a 5 GHz network, the setup will not work. Once connected to a 2.4 GHz network, go ahead and confirm. Now you can type your Wi-Fi network password. Again, I cannot emphasize enough, you must connect to a 2.4 GHz network. If you try to connect to a 5 GHz network, the connection will fail. Once you have typed your Wi-Fi password, tap on Next. As instructed on the screen, proceed to your F4 Pro and press and hold the button on the side of the unit. Release once you hear the two beeps and the red light flashes twice. Allow a few seconds for the red light to begin flashing. Confirm that the light is flashing and allow the app to configure your unit. Once the unit is connected successfully, go ahead and tap on Start to Use. Before we configure your F4 Pro, let's go ahead and rename it. Tap on the new device. Now from the bottom menu, select Settings and then tap on the Name field. Tap on that Name field again. Since we're going to be using this F4 to dose Aquaforest, I will call it as such. Don't forget to save when done. Let's go ahead and rename each of the dosing channels to make it more convenient. 
tap on pump one and input a name. Don't forget to save. Repeat the process for all dosing channels. To return to the previous screen, just tap on the upper left hand arrow. Let's make sure the F4 Pro has the correct time. Tap on time setting and then tap on time sync. Once both firmware and app time are the same, click on the upper left hand arrow. Now we need to calibrate the dosing channels. Tap on flow calibration and then select the pump channel you wish to calibrate first. In order for the calibration to be accurate, all trapped air must be expelled from the dosing line. Tap on start emptying to prime the line and then tap again to stop once all air has been purged out. Now, using the included 10 milliliter beaker, insert the output line into the beaker and then tap on add start. The pump will run for 10 seconds and then automatically stop. Enter the volume of liquid in the testing beaker and tap on calibration complete. Repeat the prime and calibration process for all active dosing heads. For increased accuracy, we do recommend that you calibrate the F4 Pro pump heads every four to six weeks. Now we are ready to use our F4 Pro pump. There are two methods of dosing. Manual, which is used for single one-time dosing and planned, which allows you to create 24 stage, 24 hour dosing schedule. To dose manually, select manual from the planned screen. Tap the volume number to enter your volume amount in milliliters. Tap on OK and then tap on start circle. The screen will show you a real time countdown as the solution is being added. The second method is the plan mode. This allows you to create a more intricate schedule of up to 24 different time points on a 24 hour period, or to automate a single dosing on a daily basis at the same time each day. To create a new plan, just tap on plan on the bottom menu and then tap on the pump name you wish to configure. Let's break down the screen and go over what it all means. At the top of the screen, you will see a container section. This is really handy as it allows you to approximate how much solution is left on the container based on your current dosing schedule. In order for this to work correctly though, you must enter the volume of your container to the best of your ability. If you have a 1000 milliliter alkalinity solution container, then tap on set and input 1000 milliliters. As you create your plan schedule, you will see the information on the container section adjust to let you know how long the solution is going to last. The next section is the cycle. Here you're able to determine if you want to dose on a daily basis or as infrequent as once every 31 days. You can also set the pump to dose on a weekly basis, which allows you to then select which specific day of the week you want to dose. To select the days of the week, just tap on the day until a blue check mark is added to the right side. For the purposes of this video, we will be dosing on a daily basis. The final and bottom section is the actual schedule. Here you can tell the doser to administer a daily total volume and spread it evenly 24 times in a day, or you can stack two different schedule regimens during a 24 hour period. An example would be, since our aquariums tend to consume alkalinity calcium at a higher rate during the day than at night, we can set up a higher dosing schedule during the day and a lower one at night. To create a repeating schedule, tap on the plus symbol at the top right of the app. Next, assign a name to this schedule. I'm going to call it day. I will set up a schedule to run from 11 a.m. to 7.59 p.m. Don't forget to save. Now we need to tell the doser how to dose during this new day schedule we've created. Tap on quick add and let's set add times to 9. Let's configure total add to 36 milliliters. This means that the doser will add 4 milliliters of solution every hour starting at 11 a.m. and ending at 7.59 p.m. Don't forget to save. Tap on the plus sign on the upper right hand corner. Let's name this new schedule evening and select the time between 8 p.m. and 11.59 p.m. Tap on quick add and let's set add times to 4 and total add to 4 milliliters. Finally, tap on the plus sign on the upper right hand corner and let's create a morning schedule that is active from 12 a.m. to 10.59 a.m. Tap on quick add and set the add times to 11 and then set the total add to 11 milliliters total.
we have just created an intricate dosing schedule that will dose 4 milliliters of solution every hour from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Then, from 8 p.m. to 10 a.m. the next morning, it will dose only 1 milliliter every hour, since our tank's demand at night is much lower. Say you wish to modify a couple of individual times without changing the rest. Say you want to dose a little more from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., just tap on the individual time you want to modify and adjust the volume. If you wish to delete a point, just slide your finger from right to left until you see the option to delete. Well, that is our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Camor F4 Pro Wi-Fi Cloud Dozer, including detailed specs and beautiful high-quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at coralview.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products. Until next time.